Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the 8 circle theorems. This is part 2 of the video, so if you've not seen part 1, uh, be sure to watch that as well. Uh, so let's jump straight into it then. So rule number 5, the radius meets the tangent at 90 degrees. So here I've drawn a radius, uh, which is a straight line from the centre of the circle to a point on the circumference. Now I'm going to draw a tangent. So a tangent is a straight line touching a single point on the edge of a circle. Now where these two lines meet, uh, will form a right angle, so in other words the radius and the tangent are perpendicular to each other. So on to rule number six now, which is that tangents from the same point to a circle are equal in length. So let's draw a point outside the circle, uh, we'll call it point A, and we'll draw a point on the circle here, call it point B, and another one here, and we'll call it point C. So if we draw a tangent joining point A to point B, like so, and another one joining point A to point C, like so. These two tangents will be equal in length. So in other words, AB equals AC. So on to rule number seven now, uh, which is that the angle inscribed in a semicircle is always a right angle. So let's draw a diameter across the circle here to form two semicircles. Well, if we connect the endpoints of, di of the diameter, sorry, to a point on the circumference, like so, the angle formed at the circumference will always be a right angle. So it doesn't matter where you draw the point and connect the lines, it will always form a right angle. So in each case here, the red, the green, and the blue uh, triangles all form a right angle at the circumference. So the final rule that we'll cover in this video is known as the alternate segment theorem. Uh, and this is the hardest to spot and it's also the hardest to get your head around uh, you just need to practice it uh, but first of all let's draw a tangent like so uh, so the angle formed between a tangent and a chord so if we draw a chord like so is equal to the angle in the alternate segment so if we form a triangle like so this angle here we'll call x is equal to this angle here and likewise this angle here we'll call y is equal to this angle here which is also y uh, and like I say it's quite hard to spot this one uh, you just need to get familiar with it so if you'd like to get more practice with some circle theorems exam style questions uh, you can have a go at our online exam which you can find through our revision platform uh, you'll find a variety of different question types plenty of different questions to practice and you get instant feedback on each and every one of them uh, so this is really useful if you want to try and get some feedback on the areas that you need to improve on uh, if you're interested and you want to take the exam, then please click the link below.